Union construction workers are tightening their belts. They've reached an agreement with their contractor employers to voluntarily freeze their wages and benefits. Both sides hope the cheaper cost of labor will encourage more development and ultimately build more construction jobs. Desiree Taylor has that story. Nationally, construction starts plummeted during the recession. As a result, unemployment is high in this industry. Right now, we're facing about 50% unemployment in the construction trades. Uh, so it's, it's critical uh, now more than ever to get uh, men and women off the uh, union benches, to get contractors working. I've been out of work since before Christmas, and it's difficult. Another challenge, construction work is sometimes stalled or scaled back because of the economy. Two examples include the Revel Casino in Atlantic City and Xanadu at the Meadowlands. It's really a, a matter of the economy and um, the lack of funding for, for new construction projects. Uh, people are, are afraid to put their money at risk uh, for new endeavors. Construction unions believe they can encourage developers and building owners to move forward with their projects and therefore create more construction jobs by reducing labor costs. Under the leadership of the carpenters, uh, the laborers, bricklayers, uh, many of the iron worker locals in the state of New Jersey, the dock builders, uh, they voluntarily uh, took a wage benefit freeze in order to stimulate some construction activity in New Jersey. Uh, they worked along with our contractors, the management arm, um, and again, voluntarily uh, took a freeze. Cheaper labor may be welcome news to members of the New Jersey chapter of NAOP, the Commercial Real Estate Development Association, because it would save them money. This agreement, while it may not provide any immediate benefit uh, for a good portion of members, it, it will um, no doubt have um, uh, be, be helpful. It will have some benefits for some people that are fortunate enough to be uh, developing right now, to be doing, uh, bringing in tenants, doing tenant fit-outs. I mean, that is happening. But McGinnis says the wage freeze may not be enough of an incentive to get shovels in the ground on new projects because developers face a host of barriers. The overregulation, uh, obtaining financing. Union officials say this industry is cyclical, so eventually construction will pick up. Normally with the warmer weather, construction uh, starts up, and we're seeing a couple of hopeful signs. We hope to see more. Construction workers are hoping more work will be on the horizon now that the Super Bowl is coming to New Jersey. But in the meantime, they say they need more small projects like this one in order to make ends meet. Big projects are great, but if you don't have a big project and you got 15 small ones, people are working. Desiree Taylor, NJN News, Newark.